What if I was to tell you we're not only fine, we're great no, we're because we well. are actually people who know ball, who know football. I at least watch some ball. We watch some ball, which is and more we, than I can say about a lot of people who report we have a on lot ball. Of people who have no clue what college football is, and yet they get paid to sit mm. behind computers and dump trash for the rest of us to read. We're going to do you a favor. We're going to go through that trash and tell you what is abjectly abhorrent take, to the Take entire. some of the trash out. So we're going to take the trash out next on Locked on Bulldogs. You are Locked on Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up, everybody? He is Clint. I am Daniel. We are the Lockdown Bulldogs Podcast. Thank you so much for making us your first listen and joining us each and every day cool. as we talk about the George Bulldogs and the stories that interest us at large in college football, some of which we'll be getting to today. But we're happy that you're here. Yes. If you are listening on audio, thanks so much. Leave us a five-star rating and review on whatever that po- that uh, podcast platform app of choice of yours is if you're watching us on youtube which many of you are thanks so much subscribe to the youtube channel um we're gonna get 7500 8000 subscribers by the time the season Let's rolls around over on you season. come on um so subscribe to that youtube channel we appreciate that and then go subscribe to the audio podcast as well if you don't mind if you want to help us out that's the best way that you can do it locked on it bulldogs on any podcast listening device um so Clint, sometimes from time to time it's talking season right now. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of football to consume. When you have people that are used to being active yes. and they are forced to not be active. Lead a sedentary lifestyle all of a sudden. All of a sudden you take one thing that is unlike the other and chaos typically ensues. That's right. So what tends to happen in this time of year is people will write anything. Literally to get you to click on their little bait. So, um, we're going to talk about some of the <laughs> close, but I thought fair. Yes, Tough, I but agree. fair. I- <laughs> um, we're going to talk about what we think are some of the absolute dumbest things that we've read on the internet in the last few days. Now, this spans a, a pretty wide gamut here. Yeah, this Clint. is not just UGA related. There is going to be UGA related content in here. But yeah. it's not that. And let's start with the most. So we're going to start with a very ludicrous thing about college football. We're then going to get into some aspects within Georgia. Uh, and We then, started talking about this yesterday, but I shut you down because you I felt I needed more time to let this subject breathe. Okay. Clint, go ahead. Daniel, there's been lots of comments and the mouth himself. If y'all didn't think that Deion Sanders was going to come into college football – be a head coach in college football and create just absolute insanity. You did not know who Dion was. You did not know who Prime Time was. The man's been calling himself Prime for two decades now. Like, okay. that's sociopath behavior. He couldn't make it. He was a cancer within the Cowboys locker room. Yikes. Just think about that for Yikes. two seconds. Okay, Yikes. the Cowboy, Jerry Jones. Yikes. Okay, he goes to Colorado. Mm-hmm. Besides talking with his gums about what other people and other programs ought do and should do and NFL and so on and so forth, taking kids and removing scholarships and saying, I'm bringing my Louis Vuitton luggage into town. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, everybody else in the entire planet is apparently following his lunacy and saying, I would like to bet money that Prime will win the college football playoff. The Pac-12? No, not Pac-12, Daniel. Try. Try again. Five games? Nope. Try again. Because I wouldn't bet a nickel that he's going to do either of those two things. No, he won't do either of those two things. He can't do either of those two things. I don't care what is happening. Colorado does not have literally players. I'm not saying good. I'm just saying players they don't have people to be in pads <laughs> right now that's what i'm saying people are betting on them to win 
the college football playoff national championship. The whole thing, Dave. I think I think I read the six most bet on team. That's what I think I read. Like, how much easy must it be to be a casino? Yeah. This is my main question. Is like, do you people just why give people you money? Do you understand why just guys like, well, I don't know, I could, I could, I could write some things down. You, you're just going to give me money. Okay, That's sure. Okay. <laughs> what odds do you want? A thousand to one, ten thousand to one, million to one. Well, I don't, whatever. I don't it care. doesn't matter. How Colorado's much will not, you give me? Colorado's not winning anything. It's year one. It's Pac-12. It's Colorado. They have no student athletes. First of Deion's, all, I'm not even mad at Deion Sanders. I, I don't even care. I'm here for it. Actually, it's entertaining. Say- it's fine. It's going to be really fun when they lose. It's like it's not a big deal to me any of the things that Dion does that's not the point of this the point of this is that some people are so willing to get swept up in a hype train that is literally nothing more than a man who is a professional talker at that's this true. point talking that's what he's doing it's what he's doing guys it's what he's doing and he wants to do it well uh, we're gonna come back after this with two more stories of note for georgia and then a third that related to georgia and is no longer related to georgia i'll explain what that means but first built bar built bar is the tastiest protein bar on planet earth daniel and i know that because we have tried every single one of them every All the flavors single one. are delicious chocolate sure peanut butter yep raspberry orange fruit Birthday I'm going to be a thousand percent honest with you. And this is insane to say because there's so many flavors there. I have literally never had one that I thought was bad. No. There are some that I prefer to sure. others. But how many protein bars in your life have you had that were bad? You go to that gas station so and you many. only go to the one brand with the one flavor because you know you can stomach it. Because you know it's okay. Right. I've never had, and I've had a lot of Built Bars, Bilt guys. Bars it's been years. Protein bar. Daniel has been lifting. You lift, bro? You, you do lift even that. lift, bro. Daniel does If you not, don't have Built Bars, I can definitively say you do not even lift. So uh, just go fact. right now, Built.com. 15% off your entire order. Built.com. Promo code locked on. 15% off your entire order. All right, Clint, um, some dumb stuff that we read on the internet. Really? This yeah, uh, this is another – let's, let's say the, the last two things are not really dumb things. I mean they are dumb in their own way, we'll, which we'll get to in a moment. But I don't think we can go too much longer before we talk about get, what's happening get, in Philadelphia. Get to, get to this story. Daniel, get I'm, to this I'm, guy. I'm looking at the Twitter feed right now for this guy. Please tell the people who this – I want to get this right. Don Coleman? Abject filth rag of a reporter. I I literally, I literally want to make sure we say his name correctly on the podcast, and I don't have it in front of me, and I don't remember what it is. Is it Don Coleman? Is that I who this so. guy is? Okay. I believe so. This is – if you haven't seen, there's a picture of Jalen Carter in a car, and he's wearing – clothes and some of those clothes are red sure. and a philadelphia eagles beat writer which georgia fans you thought your beat writers were bad he said <laughs> this philadelphia eagles beat writer just said hold my cheesesteak uh this guy comes out and doesn't insinuate but overtly says that jalen carter is wearing gang paraphernalia because he's wearing clothes that contain the color red in them. Now, I don't like to judge a book by its cover. Sure. Unlike Don Coleman, who very clearly does. But you take one half of one second of a look at this, at this, I don't know, like rat-faced weasel that's yeah, yeah. doing the reporting, yep. and Please you keep- know everything that you need to know about him and one of those things is that he does not know the first thing about what gang related paraphernalia would or ever could look like this guy's insinuating that jalen carter might be suspended for games from the nfl because again is he does it matter if he has any accuracy to his reporting clint is that what he's after no accuracy went out the window daniel 
No. So why not just get your feelings hurt that a team didn't draft the guy that you thought that they should have drafted? And then just go drag somebody's name through the mud for literally nothing. Well, I mean, I'm talking about he's not bringing up January the 10th or whatever. This is literally nothing that he's just decided he's going to go to town on a kid's reputation and insinuate that he should be suspended from games from the NFL for wearing clothes that contain the color red. But they're red, Daniel. I don't know if you understand what is is red. What is who, is, is who red. wears red clothes a lot? I don't. It's is. I just don't. I don't understand people. Clint. This guy. Now, as I, as I continue reading through, this guy is clear as day. This is what happens when you are talentless. When you're a hack. When you don't, again, no ball, when you can't make, just follow these guys. And, and AJC, we're going to get to you in a moment. Third segment listener, by the way, we're coming for AJC. You didn't think they were going to get out of this trash dump without being talked no, about. No, we you? said dumb stuff we read on the internet. It's so, the, the in parentheses, just the AJC. The AJC. This is what happens. You think that it's your job to champion and to be some sort of vanguard against the institution you follow right you think that you are 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 literally deep throat in some sort of 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 way of getting through the the mud and the muck and the mire of everything just okay. the morality police just you're, that you're not what would we do without you you're not listen to eagle beat reporter coleman Listen to the owner and head coach when the I'm sure this guy was the same guy who tried at draft process say, well, it didn't seem to me that Jalen was very uh, remorseful, wasn't very didn't take responsibility or accountability on the phone call. And the head coach and owner said, you're an idiot. You can't project that onto him. He did. Well, it didn't sound that way. I don't I don't care. Again, your job is to make news. Your job is to make stuff up so that people follow you and click on your website. You're a joke. Uh, We're going to come back after this, and we're going to talk about that old friend. It's like a warm blanket, Daniel, if I could be totally honest. Covered in urine. Warm because it's covered in urine. And that's exactly what the AJC is next. AJC, To be fair, the AJC often is covered in urine. Because you know well, you, you you used to use it like at the bottom of like your bird's cage, but that that's correct. Print went out. Hamsters covered in urine frequently. Okay. Um, it. So let's start with the fact that Denial Morissette was arrested um, near Athens on a uh, some misdemeanor charges and um, a driving under the influence charge. Now. We're going to get to denial and Morissette and that story in a second. Okay. But let's let's lead with this. The AJC's and Chip Towers headline was exactly what you predict that it would be. Again, go ahead, Daniel. People are who they who you think they are. That's just a general rule of thumb. This isn't yeah. this isn't a life advice podcast. That's the other show that we way. do. But um thanks 199 by the way Welcome. get subscribed to the dad pod um people are generally who you think they are if you give people long enough to talk they will tell you everything you want to know about them yet another georgia football player arrested i'm sorry i'm at what point was a Georgia football player arrested recently? Because Jalen Carter was charged with traffic citations and turned yeah. himself in and received no sentencing, like no jail time. No. Nope. No, at no point was he, and this is a key word because you Please used it. it in your article, Please arrested. It. At no point. Well, he had to turn himself over to authorities, Daniel. That's the same as being arrested, is it not? No, it's not. 
Wait, but hold on, hold on. Being I already, cited with a traffic ticket. I already sent it to the editor, though, with those is words. Is different than being arrested. So you just explained to me, since this is again, since this is what's happening again, when did we run into a situation this offseason where a Georgia player was arrested? Well, there was that one time that there was accusations against a Georgia player because he was stopping a fight in a dorm room. And mm -hmm. and that was accusations. Which and again, he was, in fact, arrested for that. Was, Am I? No, no. No, he was. Okay, he wasn't arrested. No. So right. that still hasn't happened. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's one. Yeah. The AJC is exactly who you think that they are. Give them enough time, they will show how stupid they are. You don't have to give them any time, sadly. Oh, now, wait. The time's already passed. That being said, let's state for the record Please. the official position of the because Lockdown there's Bulldogs in the podcast. Right now who there's is typing this out right Somebody now. in the comments. Please hear us. It's not difficult to not get a DUI. It's not. There's, there's what do you do? nothing hard about it. Here's what you do. Please tell me. You don't drive when you're impaired. And then you never get a DUI. Do you sometimes get a ticket for speeding? Do you sometimes get a ticket for any number of other things, traffic citation-wise? Sure, you do. But you never get a DUI if you don't drive when you're impaired. Denila Morissette did a ridiculously idiotic thing that was easily preventable. And should never have happened. Should never. Yes. Okay. I was just going to say. But this that doesn't mean that he was arrested <laughs> yet again, meaning implying be, Georgia has this huge problem with what I, whatever. It you can matter. be detained. Yeah. You can be questioned. Mm -hmm. You could be cited. <laughs> Those are different. Those are different things. Okay. All right. Whatever. So again, matter. stupid. Stupid. Uber, Lyft, friend. Fall asleep on the grassy knoll in front of the apartment. I'll, I'll get. Start banging on doors in the Dallas Fort Worth area at four o'clock in the morning. Do that. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Don't get in a car when you're impaired. It's not hard. Last bit of news dump. Uh, and this is. I, Look good on him. It's not a dumb thing we read on yeah. the internet. It is a yeah. dumb school, though. It's a dumb school. Georgia Tech gets a little richer. Dom Blaylock is going to G-Tech. Uh, stays in the state. Just goes down the road a little bit uh, to Atlanta. Playing at G-Tech. I think this gives him an opportunity to be the number one. Is he the best wide team. receiver on this team? Yep. Best wide receiver on the team. Um, I mean. New ball coach. And we've said it before. That ball coach, uh, that's exactly who Georgia Tech should have hired. He was the only one for the job. I don't think he's going to do anything because it's Georgia Tech. But I've heard some coach. interesting things about this. We've not, we need to talk about this offline a little bit, but I've heard some pretty interesting things about Brent Key. Uh, he's, he's weird. Okay. <laughs> he's to say that he's not well liked. Well, among coaches, among his peers is uh, potentially a bit of an understatement. Yikes. <laughs> um, Dom Blayla goes to Georgia Tech. Good on you, Dom. I hope you run through the ACC. Absolutely. Just go do go. Do I hope you run. score a touchdown against Georgia. I don't, it'll be fine. I, I'm fine. Fine it's with it. It's fine. It's fine. Dom Blaylock, we've always loved him. We glad have. he found a spot. Yes, sir. Uh, glad he did not, not get lost in the abyss that is the transfer portal because many <laughs> the do. Vapid the vapid hole. The vapid hole. I couldn't come up with it. Nor did <laughs> I, I want to. I now wish I had never, but uh, this has been Locked on Bulldogs, Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. We'll see you all next time. See ya.